Football Fanatics. This is your studio quarterback, Steve Schmidt, and welcome to another week of the X Factor Fantasy Football Update. I'll be here while Larry is away on a special assignment for the Iron Chef, finding New York's best pastrami sandwich. This week features all interdivisional games. Our game of the week featured Young Dubs Birds and the No Name Assassins. The Assassins trying to grab second place in their division. And the Birds looking for a tie for first in their division. Well, with this offensive start, is averaging 30 points. With the highest point total of the season, the Assassins told the Birds to go fly away. Final score, 216 to 153. And another key matchup, the Legion of Doom faced off against division-leading Wookiees. If LOD were to win, they would take over the second spot in the wide-open Madden division. With a combination of 49 points out of Peyton Manning and poor lineup decision by LOD, the Wookiees clinched the first playoff spot this season with a 196-153 to victory. Hey, we'll take a few seconds to acknowledge this week's sponsor, Budweiser, the king of beers. When you're watching the game with the Bud, look for the best Bud, ice-cold Budweiser. In other action, the We York and Womb Stretchers, they look to end their two-game losing streak against the eight inchers. Sorry, Guy, about your two starting running backs. It's going to be tough for you to get another victory anytime soon. The eight inchers started the Womb Stretchers 146 to 129. What turned out to be a very meaningful game, the Buckeyes looked for only their third victory of the season against New Jero. With the usual paltry performance out of the starters, the Buckeyes got Buck 150 to 117. With that win, New Jero is one game out of first place in the Madden division. And the last game of this week, the Blowouts fought for the second playoff spot in the ESPN division against the Brick City Warriors. The Blowouts definitely got lucky this week with the Packers' last-minute decision to sit down Amon Green. And the Warriors got blown up 150-132. to That leaves in last place in the Madden division. But guess what? Mathematically, could still win the division. So it's anybody's game. These last two weeks are crunch time. Time to separate the men from the boys. Well, with the absence of our normal host, we will continue the tradition of everybody's favorite segment, What the Fungus, where we call out fantasy owners and their horrible coaching decisions, as well as unexpected performances. We started with Brick City Warriors for the fourth week in a row. Drew Brees has sat on your bench, outscoring almost everybody else on your team. This week he had 36 on the bench. What the, the fungus? Should have traded him when you had the chance. We open womb stretchers. Carson Palmer on your bench with 32. And Kerry Colbert on your bench with 24. What, what the, the fungus? Eight inches. Jerry Porter, 39 on the bench. What, what the, the fungus? fungus? Young Dubs Birds, Eddie Kinnison in your starting lineup only gives you four points. What, what the fungus? No Name Assassins, Fantasy Stud Sean Alexander only gave you four points, and you still scored 216 points. What, what the, the fungus? fungus? Buckeyes, Clinton Portis only three points, and he starts Steve McNair, 27 on the bench. What, what the, the fungus? Wookies, Ronald Carey on the bench. What the, what the fungus? fungus? Finally, for the second week in a row, our boo-boo of the week goes to the Legion of Doom. Only this time, his poor coaching cost him the game. Rudy Johnson, 38 on the bench, while starter Thomas Jones only scores 16. Your two starting receivers combined for 13 points, while the leading receivers on your bench combined for 38. What, what the fungus? Well, amigos, that's all until next week. Remember, it's okay to hit F5. With karate, I'll kick your ass. Yeah, to the end of the square. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your fucking dairy hair. Yeah, yeah. You broke the rules. Now I pull out all your pubic hair. You motherfucker.